What's good, math family? Today we're looking at quadratic equations. I'm going to show you how to solve by completing the square, and I'm also going to show you two other methods to solve the same problem. So as we start this video out, first thing we want to do is use complete the square method because it's already set up. So I take half of six, that's three, we square it, we get nine. So my perfect square trinomial will be x squared plus six x plus nine. And we know we have to add the same thing on the other side. Now I break this back down to its binomial. X plus three squared is equal to 25. Now this turns back into the square root method. So I get rid of my exponent by taking the square root of it. Now we have X plus three is equal to plus or minus the square root of 25, which is five. So now X is equal to negative three plus or minus five. So when we simplify by splitting this, we're going to get X is equal to negative eight. And we're going to get X is equal to positive two. So when we look at our answer choice, right, it's going to be D because two is positive and then our eight's negative. But let's say we, we used a different method. And that's what makes this hard, math family. There's so many different methods. So method number two, right? We do this. We, we create the trinomial in the sense of we subtract 16. X squared plus 6X minus 16 is equal to zero. Now, when we're looking at our factors, right? One times 16, two times eight, four times four. Only that combination could get us a positive six. So now we come in, we have x plus 8 times x minus 2. That gives us the positive 6, and it gives us the negative 16 when we multiply. So x plus 8 is equal to 0. We know x is equal to negative 8. First answer, x minus 2 is equal to 0. We know x is equal to positive 2. Second answer, same thing. So now we saw the same quadratic equation and found the roots using two methods. Now the last method is going to be using the quadratic formula. So we're talking about this formula here, right? X is equal to the opposite of B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus four AC all over two times A. Now, for us to properly solve using this method, we first have to subtract 16 over to have a trinomial. So now we know our A, our B, and our C term. That's very important. Okay? And math family, just remember, when we're, when we're doing these math problems, the reason why it's important to know more than one method is it improves your understanding of the math. And then two, based on the question of the way it's formatted there's easier methods okay so i wouldn't even do this i would stick to completing the square or just regular factoring but let's say you forgot right so now we have x is equal to negative six plus or minus six squared minus four times one times negative 16 all over two times one so now when i simplify x is equal to negative six plus or minus 36 plus 64. I think that's what you get when you multiply 4 and 16. Yep, positive because this is negative, that's negative, all over 2. Now, once we simplify, we have x is equal to negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 100 all over 2. Now, we're going to switch back to black. Now, actually, let's switch to blue. Now, when we go right here, x is equal to negative six plus or minus 10 over two. Now, when we divide by this two, we have X is equal to negative three plus or minus five. So now when we split the equation, right? X is equal to negative three plus five. We're gonna get the same answers. X is equal to two. Or if we do the other equation and subtract five, we know X is equal to negative eight. So when we're solving quadratic equations and finding the roots, these are three methods you could always use. Completing the square, factoring, and using the quadratic formula. Really hope this review on quadratic equations was helpful for you guys. 
smash the like button for us, subscribe to our channel, and comment down below if you have questions on this video, or if this video was helpful, or if there's other topics on our channel that you guys would like to see. Thank you guys so much for watching Algebra 1 with Mr. Peters.